This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm here at City Wine. For over two decades, they have been Denver's best and most unique wine shop. I am here with the owner, current owner, just taken over here. Kind of exciting business to be a part of. Why don't you share with me a little bit how it is you got involved in this particular industry? We have uh, in and out of Colorado our whole life, actually living in Texas, and I'm kind of retiring from what I was doing there. And we were looking at an opportunity to find something unique that we wanted to do and ran across this store being for sale. And what I liked about it is the uniqueness of it. It's the traditional old wine boutique store. It is not, we're not a big discount liquor store type idea. And it just fit the mold really well. Wonderful. I mean, uh, it's quite amazing that today and all the different drinks that we have, um, wine is something we can trace all the way back to biblical times, be it um, enjoying at a feast of a wedding or possibly sipping between two people. Why do you think the popularity of wine continues to grow today? You know, I think it's, I think it's something that's come a long, a long ways, and especially in the United States, as we have learned, California started it, bringing in wines from Europe and started growing their own vineyards. I think we have, when I grew up as a a youngster in my 20s and 30s, my age group probably didn't drink a lot of wine. But, and the younger people now are are really do enjoy that. And I think my years, once upon a time, I was at Vail years ago and I had around the influence of the Europeans and how much they drink it. They drink it like we drink a Coke or a Diet Coke or something all day long. They love it. And I think that's what's happened here. It's the, the history is always there. The fact that our vineyards in California are starting to mature. Other states are starting to do things. Texas, Colorado, some places like that are all discovering it. So it's just, I think it's, a, it's something new on the horizon almost. Wonderful. Obviously just as unique as the wine itself or the people that drink it, like you said, different age groups. Uh, we're talking about all shapes and sizes, different, different really um, taste desires. Is that what makes hunting for the great wine out there kind of, uh, kind of a fun deal? Yeah, it does. I think you, you've got traditionalists that want a certain type of wine. They want the heavy, big flavored wines. Uh, I think you're seeing more people, especially in our country, like to enjoy it as a refreshment as opposed to something they have for dinner or had you know sit on that Thanksgiving table. They now sit on that back porch and drink a nice bottle of a white or a rosé, which is becoming a very popular wine again. Uh, and a lot of the reds now are starting to be geared towards more of a enjoyable type wine that you can sit down and drink uh, as opposed to having focus on a meal and for a long time we were focused on a meal with the wine interesting for over 20 years the slogan has been we drink what we can and we sell the rest is this a philosophy that's going to continue here in the store well it is but we were kind of outnumbered there were three or four owners there's just two of us so i don't know if we can keep up with that pace but uh, <laughs> we will try our best uh we, we certainly enjoy i enjoy the distributors coming in and we get we buy something we usually buy a bottle of ourselves and take home and uh, it, it's fun. That's what we're trying to catch up with. His previous owners have probably tasted everything. That was their claim. We're a little, we're a little behind the curve, but we're going to try real hard to catch up. That is wonderful. Obviously, by, by tasting some of the wines, kind of makes it easier for um, helping the folks that walk in with their selection. Is that something you enjoy, kind of listen to what people like and then direct them in the, in the right way? You know, that, that's, that's our goal is that a lot of it is you can – you can overeducate yourself to, to my extent, you know, too, too much knowledge. Find yourself something that's really nice, what you like about it. Most of the customers come in here, that's their goal. What, what tastes good with this? What can we do with that? Uh, you know, the ones that, are, that really put a lot of time into it, the history they're on, they know what they're looking for. They, they understand the regions of France and Italy and Spain. And uh, so for them, that's an easy. But for most of your customers, you're just going to give them a flavor that they want to find and say, okay, this kind of fits that flavor this fits that taste for you it's kind of a nice kind of a community store because not only you educating folks that walk in here maybe that are new to it but you're also learning yourself from people that just come in and drink you've got pretty much a laid-back atmosphere is what you provide here Um, wine can be a sophisticated drink but obviously the experience here is um, doesn't have to be no and that's what we want to we want people to walk in be comfortable we'll get you to something that you think you want to drink that's, that match, fixes your palate and works well with that. And then at the same time, we don't need to stand behind it and hover you and tell you this, this, this is that, this fits this. 
let them discover. Uh, previous owners had a neat idea with the little notes we attach to the wines, uh, and it's just a real simple idea of here's kind of the flavors you can expect. Maybe here's a little history where it came from, especially if it's out of a particular region of the, the France or Italy that has those regions. And that's, that's always kind of nice for them. In the past, they've had vintage guitars, live music, makes for kind of an, an enticing Saturday tasting. Is this something you're going to continue on with? Well, we laughed about the guitars. And, and, I, and I love music, and my wife loves music, but I can't play a lick. So there was no reason to have guitars in here for me. I said, no. Uh, we are continuing. We're going to do Saturday tastings. We're probably also going to experiment doing some Thursday tastings. I think a lot of our clientele tend to leave, you leave on the weekends. That's why you live in Colorado. So I think we're going to do some Thursdays with that. We are probably going to, when we're finished with the overall look of the store, maybe a little more uh, outdoor sports that tie with it, skiing, biking, hiking, the things that really, that really kind of developed with wine. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more of our theme. That, that is kind of cool. Um, obviously, by, by seeking out the bottles um, really across the globe, not so much focusing on the bigger names out there, but looking for things that are rare finds as well, are you able to offer value to folks that come in looking for a, a good bottle of wine? Well, and that's what's very unique about our distributors. Our guys focus on the small vineyards, the family vineyards. Consequently, we're able to get very good price points. We get a very quality wine. Uh, you know, it's amazing how many really, really good wines fit in the $10 to $20 range. Uh, you, know, you know, you can still buy your aged wines, and you're paying for that aging to get on up there. But there's quite a few. Even our cabs in the United States, there's a lot in that 20 to $30 range that are very good. Um, you don't need to get full by that big price makes it a better wine. Uh, we have our little display behind us here that we keep that's things we're able to buy good values. Uh, we basically sell at a case uh, at a very discounted price, but the quality of those wines is fantastic. I mean, it's very good. That is wonderful. You said by the case. Um, one of the things pretty well known for is a mixed case special that, that, uh, that is run. Um, obviously, this is kind of a way to mix and match uh, what you find on the wine wall. Um, is that something that is pretty popular? Yes. You know, and we have, we have several very loyal customers, and they'll walk in, and we have a couple of ladies that I really enjoy that are seniors that are in their 80s easily, and they come in, and they'll just call and say, to go to the wall and mix me a case of the mix and matches and they come get it and we take it out to them or sometimes we deliver it to them the people that can't get here and uh, it's 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 fun and a lot of people really enjoy it uh, it's a nice way to do it and it's a great value uh, it's a way to go when you're going to mix and match there. I see a lot of folks anymore, they want that same selection in their own home. We're talking about home sellers. Is this a place that you guys are able to um, consult with them a little bit and possibly help them stock up that seller? We do. We do carry, particularly in our French lines and things like that, we do carry some vintage wines that go back to the 1990s even, 1990s, early 2000s. Uh, a lot of these people do buy it with the intent that they're going to put it in a cellar. It's going to sit there 10 years. Uh, that's their goal. And a lot of those people, we're not so much focused as we have something here on the rack form, but if they'll call me and say, hey, I need, I'm looking for six bottles of XYZ to a certain vintage, then we get on the phone and run it down for them. And that's what's kind of fun. We are able to find those things for them and say, yeah, we can, we can run that down. Excellent. What about folks who come in here, find something they like? Maybe they're not even from the area. Are you able to actually ship and deliver this out um, to their home if need be? Yes. Uh, of course, Colorado is like all, all states. They all have their rules and restrictions. But majority of the states, we're able to ship things directly from the store to them. It has to come to the store first, and then we can ship out. But we do that quite a bit. Matter of fact, a lot of our friends in, in Texas have already called, and so we're going to start getting shipments out of their direction pretty quick. That is very cool. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their contact information. First of all, you can see the address easily accessible right off here of uh, Colorado Boulevard. And um, take a look. They've got specials they run throughout the throughout the month. The best the best way, obviously, is to be part of their email newsletter. And what you're going to find there is basically what specials they have, possibly uh, new wines that they have found as well. And um, obviously, if you're not sure what kind of wine you like, come on in. Um, they've got some Saturday tastings going on, and um, you can find what it is that uh, piques your palate. Um, obviously, wine is what you what they're known for here. It's city wine, but we are in Colorado. You talked about craft beer. Is that something we're going to see a little bit more of? We're going to see a little bit more of that. Uh, we're waiting for some new coolers to come in for us, and when they get here, we're going to start carrying the Colorado craft beer particularly. Also, some, some other areas of the United States that makes a craft beer. Um, the younger people, 
really enjoy that and it's something that they can walk in and, and buy and that's we enjoy having it too that is wonderful let me ask you this this is a new chapter in your life here um, obviously going to keep it a community store that is what really uh, gravitated you and your partner to come on out and uh, experience this has it been a has it been a, an enjoyable prospect so far yes it has I mean it's uh, you've got a lot of people when something changes they're always a little leery but we've had great great response from the customers that have been here for a long time uh, and we're kind of sharing them we're doing the same thing that they've always had done and it's, it's been nice most of them have been very receptive and very encouraging about trying to help us make this thing work that is wonderful last time viewers take a look at the bottom of the screen you got a contact information right there um, check them out on Facebook as well they're trying to keep you apprised of uh, possibly any events they have down here as well as wine tasting um, once again this is a city wine community store that began over two decades ago that is city wine located here in Denver Colorado this is Gary Atensu with CNTV and if you don't know now you know